Oh, man. Looks like everyone forgot your birthday, Steve. <sighs> yeah, it looks like they did. Seriously, after all the stuff I do for them, this is ridiculous. Surprise! <laughs> Guys, oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you. You didn't have to do this. Happy birthday, Steve. It is your day today. Wow, thanks, guys. And hey, you even managed to bring Billy and Katie. Yep. This is gonna be the best birthday ever. Oh, it's gonna be even better than you think. Austin, go get the cake. On it, bozo. Oh, cake? You guys didn't have to. Oh, this is so exciting. What are we talking? Strawberry? Vanilla? It's your favorite. Mint chocolate chip? It's a... Oh, my gosh, it's chocolate. Okay, put it down. I can't wait. I know we normally do the whole thing where I blow out the candles and make a wish, but I am literally so hungry from all my adventuring. Save a slice for me. No way, Guido. I'm going straight in. Oh, nom, nom, nom. Oh, uh, guys... What was in that cake? I have been murdered. On my birthday? Now I have to help my robotic companion Guido find the killer. These are the suspects, but can you figure out who the real killer is? Billy, what did you do to Steve? He was our best friend, and now he's gone! It wasn't me! <laughs> you are obviously lying! Nobody else hates Steve as much as you do! Hey, leave him alone! I didn't want to be here at stupid Steve's birthday party, too! Stupid Steve? Hey, you Chris, just stop playing! Stupid you stupid Steve! Yes, Steve. Yes. Oh, you would hate this! Actually, it's pretty entertaining. Uh, wait a second. Where's Austin going? They're trying to sneak away from the party! Did they kill me? I mean, I guess they did bake the cake. Oh, I've got to get after them. Guido could miss this vital information. Okay, I'm going to beat them into the treehouse and find out exactly what they did. Oh, I'm going to be in so much trouble. Oh, they're going to hate me. Wow, they are acting really suspicious. I've got to get to the bottom of this. Maybe there's some evidence in this chest. Ah, but the only problem is they're looking directly at the chest. They're going to know someone's in here. Staring blankly at this chest really is calming me down. There's got to be some way to distract them. Uh, wait a second. Oh, I've got an idea. Okay, let's go out this way. Go all the way around the back. Hey, what's up, little guy? Want to get inside? This is going to distract Austin. Oh, pretty bird. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> this pretty is bird, What are you doing? Now that Austin is distracted, I can see exactly what's hiding inside of this chest. A big magnet. Doesn't exactly seem suspicious, but I definitely could use this. Specifically, to get Guido over here. Let's just aim it at the house. Now have you all calmed down? And I gotcha. Guido has no idea what's going on. Now I can just go ahead and put him inside of the chest. There we go, he's inside the chest. Now they're in the same room as Austin, without Austin even realizing. Enough! Get out of here, birdie! I was just about to confess what I did. Wait, what's Austin talking about? What I did to the cake. The cake? What did you do? Murderer! murderer? I'm not a murderer. Okay, I'll tell you everything. This morning I headed to the store to get one final ingredient for the cake. And I spotted the perfect one. Chocolate. But I couldn't reach it. So I placed the cake down and I stretched. And while I was reaching... I heard somebody meddling with the cake. And when I looked back, I saw the cake had been switched for a chocolate one. I didn't know who this kind stranger was, but the only person I saw in the store was Billy. So I think he's the murderer. Thank you, Austin. This is invaluable evidence. Why would Billy be at the store? He wasn't excited for the party. I'm gonna go talk to them. Bye, Guido. It would make sense for Billy to be the killer considering how much he dislikes me. But I don't know, something about this just isn't adding up. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, it's Sergeant Shaw, leader of the police. All right, show's over. I heard about this little party. They started it. And I'm finishing it. You're all gonna come back to the station. We can't. We have class. <sighs> well, I did promise Mr. Peason that I'd get you back to the school. Uh, you two are free to leave. <laughs> that is so not fair! What about me? I deserve to be free Zip it, blue boy! You're going to jail for a long time. No! 
Chairman Shaw actually thinks we're gonna go back to school? He's even more stupid than he looks. We'll use some of the money we found lying around Chris's house to go on an all-expenses paid vacation across the multiverse. Next stop, the airport. Oh, <gasps> Billy's gonna get away, I've gotta help. No way am I gonna let them get away with this. Okay, I've just gotta find a car that I can possess right over here, and I'll use my ghostly powers to possess it. <laughs> oh, nice, now that I've got control of this car, I can get after them. Where do you think you're going? Hey, is that someone following us? Where's the driver? Ah! Get back here, you two! Uh, drive faster, sis! Oh my gosh, this is getting really dangerous! They're going into a public park! They almost hit that villager! Ah! Oh no, this is not good! Because as soon as they get over this road, they're gonna be so close to the airport! Okay, maybe I can possess this crane! Look out! This is a close one! Ah, I just missed! Uh, we made it! Come on, let's get on the plane! Oh, no, no, I might already be too late. Oh, uh, where are they? Where are they? Ugh, the luggage belt is so slow. Okay, one more shot to stop them. Ah! Billy! Help me! And miss the flight? No way! Hey! No, come back! Wow, I can't believe he'd leave his own sister. Eh, I guess it is Billy. All right, here comes Billy. Go on, you bully. Get nice and comfortable, murderer. Because I am going to take control of this plane. Here's the pilot. And possess. We'll just take off like normal. And then the fun can begin. <laughs> What's going on? Why is the plane flying like this? Ah, my head hurts! Oh, did someone say stop? <laughs> oh, that was amazing, and look! Guido's already here! I finally got you, Billy! And it's time for you to admit, you're the murderer! I already told you! I didn't do it! Oh, yeah? Then why were you at the store? I was at the store because I was buying stuff. Steve a gift. Liar! You'd never buy Steve a gift! I'm not lying! I was buying him the worst gift in the multiverse! I'd settled on buying him a potato when someone barged into me and knocked me down! I went to call the police, but the line was dead. Interesting. Do you remember anything else, Billy? Well, there were some footsteps leading all the way to the school! Wait a second. I know someone who's a student at the school. Katie! Uh, oh no, she's gone. She must have headed back to the school. Katie, 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 where is she? She's got to be around here. Ah, she just went in that classroom. Ah, you're finally back, Katie. We were just... Wait, where's your brother? Don't know, don't care. Yikes. Well, before we begin this class, I have a special video to play. <sighs> What is this, Peterson? I made this after I heard the terrible news about Steve. It's a memorial video. I miss the little guy so much. Wow, I had no idea Peterson felt that way. Are you kidding me? Steve wasn't that important. Katie, Steve has saved the multiverse countless times. How dare you disrespect his memory? Plus, I worked on this all morning. Get out! With pleasure. I'm going straight home. Oh, no, you're not! Guido? Ugh, why won't everyone just leave me alone today? Because you killed Steve. Admit it! No, but I will kill you. Wait, where is she going? Uh, oh, my gosh, is that an X? Yeah! What do I do? What do I do? I'm trapped! Oh, don't worry, little guy. I'm going to help you. Ah! Uh, okay. That should hold her off. Whoa, what was that? Here's Katie! Oh no, she's coming in. I've got to get Guido out of here. Uh, oh, there's a vent right here. Come on, Guido, get up there. Oh. Oh, she has no idea that Guido managed to get away. At least, I hope he did. I'm get out of here before she kills me too. Oh, but it's so dark. I can hear you, Guido. Oh no! Now I've got you! I can't let Guido die too! I've got to do something! Like this! <laughs> I think you got that the wrong way round! Now tell me, where were you this morning? Fine! I'll tell you everything I can remember. 
I was in class, I think. Wait, I can hear footsteps! That means the killer is about to enter- Chris? What is he doing here? Could he really be the killer? Wait, Chris can't be the killer. He's one of Steve's closest friends. That's it. I'm calling him right now. May I remind you that Chris is in jail? You are not permitted to talk to him. What? Says who? Says me. Now don't call again. There's only one thing for it. I need to invade the prison. Oh my gosh, Guido's gonna lead an assault on the prison? And for that, I'll need an extremely powerful vehicle. I think I need an ambulance. I can't believe I'm about to rob the military base of the fighter jet. But you know what? If it helps find Steve's killer, it's gonna be all worth it. No, 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 what is Guido doing? He's gonna get himself killed. Oh, but if that's what Guido wants to do, then I've got to help him. Okay, uh, I guess I'll start off by getting rid of these laser fields. Let's see if my ghostly powers can hack into them. <gasps> and the next one. Man, I should become a ghost more often. This is useful. Oh, no. Guido's heading straight towards those soldiers. Okay, I'm going to levitate them out of the way, starting with this guy. And then this guy. And that should allow Guido to go right underneath them. Floating soldiers. You see everything nowadays. Now where's he go? Oh my gosh, he's found the jet! Chris, I am on my way! Oh my gosh, he's going so fast! I better get after him, but there could be some useful stuff here. Okay, maybe in a second. Okay, made it to the prison. Now where is Guido? He's gotta be around here so- Oh my gosh, there he is! Oh! Come on out, Chris! I'm not gonna stop until you show yourself, murderer! There you are! Got some questions for you, Chris! I know that you killed Steve! What? How can you even say that? I love Steve! I would never hurt him! Let me tell you why I was at the school. I was only there because I wanted to ask Katie if she was coming to the birthday party. Come on, Katie, please come to Steve's birthday party! There's gonna be cake! Wait, if Chris had a different reason to be at school... Then, who else went there? You bag of bolts! What did you do? I've been doing my own investigation, Shaw! You know, like the leader of the police should be doing? Yeah? Well, now I'll have to move Chris to a different prison! Oh, then I've gotta get back and get Billy and Katie back to school? Oh. Wait, what? Shaw needs to go back to the school? Wait, it was you all along, wasn't it? You killed Steve! Of course it was me! <laughs> the entire dimension wanted to, but I was the only one that went through with it. I heard about your little party, the fireworks, the loud music, dancing all night. No way was I gonna let you keep everyone up all night. <laughs> so I found Austin and switched the cakes around. I left them with the poison cake. Ooh, and when Steve sunk his teeth into it, <laughs> well, you know the rest. I saved the Minecraft dimension from one big headache, and I'd do it again. <laughs> hey, Sergeant Shaw. What the? How are you? You? How are you still alive? Well, I decided to hang around in the military base, found these defibrillators, then I went back to my body and revived myself. And well, then I found you guys. Huh. Guess I'll just have to kill you twice then. <laughs> no, you won't. It's my birthday and I get what I want. Now that's what I call a happy birthday. Hey, Steve, you guys got locked up too? Austin, how long have you been in prison? I don't know, but it feels like forever. Well, it's time to get this party started. <laughs>